Hey guys, how the frigs it going today? Well, I don't know if I mentioned it on my other video, so I'm gonna mention it now. The other week, I went over to my buddy's house. He's a professional arm wrestler, and we're doing this stuff called grip training. Uh, maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. And you're probably thinking of those stupid spring-loaded things that you go like this to build grip. Those do work, but we were doing something else. My buddy basically bought a loading pin from some site called Iron Mind. I think that's the name of the site, could be wrong. And some grips. He has one that's like shaped like a ball with a, a hook on the end. He has another one that's just like a block. Oh, I need my keys. And um, third one he had <clears throat> was a, uh, it kind of looked like a, like a really small brake rotor. And it was pretty cool. We were uh, playing around with that. And basically what you do is you load uh, weight on the pin, hook your pulling implement, whether it be the block, the uh, hub, whatever the case may be, up to it. And then you just lift it off the ground while you're holding it. And it sounds easy, but let me tell you, it's not. And it burns you right in the forearms. Like it really gets you good. So that's what he's been doing to get his grip strength increased for uh, basically arm wrestling so that he can have more wrist function so that he can pronate and supinate and friggin' control the other guy while arm wrestling. He's been training with that and he's actually really good at it. Um, he was able to use the hub and get like 80 pounds off the ground, which apparently is really, really good. I was barely able to budge 40 without slipping off the damn thing. So, I decided I wanted to build my own setup so I could start training grip strength. Why? Because I have nothing to train grip strength. I could put a dumbbell in my hand and start doing this and start doing this and, you know, flexing the muscle and stuff, but it's not the same as gripping. Well, last night, I went to Home Depot and I bought some parts. So I bought a um, black steel pipe nipple one inch, bought a, and this is a floor mount for the one inch, and I bought a cap. And then basically to hang something off of it, I bought a really big eye ring. However, I was stupid. I measured the inner diameter of the weights that I'm gonna be loading onto the bar. The inner diameter is one inch, so my plates will accept the one inch bar. I went to Home Depot and said, I'm looking for a one inch threaded both ends. I knew what I wanted. I looked it up on the website. But what I didn't realize is one inch is the inner diameter, not the outer, but the inner, the circle on the inside. I just tried to fit my plates onto that bar and it won't go. So we got to take a trip over to friggin' Home Depot and return everything but the eyelid or the eye ring just gonna make sure my yeah my receipts in there so we got to return everything back and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna build the loading pin it's a good thing too because I need to buy something else um, the only block idea I have in mind is the one that I really enjoyed there which was the pinch grip the block and what I was thinking was I got all this wood up here so I might just Cut a chunk off of a 2x4 per se. Probably have a 2x4 right here on the ground that I can use. Cut a chunk off of that, screw an eye hook into it, and pinch grip the living shit out of that until I can find other implements to use. Now, you're probably saying, Adam, why don't you just buy a loading bar? They're not that expensive. They're only $34 on Iron Mind. Well, this entire setup I have here is $8 which is cheaper than $34, it'll do the job. And that's $34 American, which is gonna be about 50 bucks Canadian for a stupid pin with a hook on the end. So why waste the money? Logically, it does not make sense. So let's jump in the truck and you're probably wondering why I'm not taking Trans Am. Eh, I was like right about to leave and I was like, you know what? Why am I not taking the Trans Am? That's just stupid. Let's drive this thing. So funny, after driving the truck, yeah, I get in, 
I, I parked the car. I'm at Home Depot, guys. I'm down here at the parking lot right now. And I go to put her in park. I go to put her in... Oh, right. You know, one of those. Every freaking time. Like, I I'll pull out of the driveway in reverse, and I'll go to put her in drive, and I'll reach here for the column that doesn't exist, and it's like, oh, it's over here now. Man, just confusing. All right, let me go do an exchange and uh, get the parts we need for this loading pin and the block. All right, we're back, and I just realized I'm wearing a Ford hat and a Pontiac. Okay, whatever. Stuff's in the back seat, because we actually have one of those in this car to put stuff there. All right, let's uh, fire up the car. What am I doing? I'm telling you guys, I'm in two vehicles. Thank God one isn't a manual. All right, we're back. I need to clean up my bench so I got somewhere to work. So I'm gonna get moving on that now. All right, we got some space. So here's my brain dead idea for this. Bought one of these, it's like a base. Got one of these, it's a cap. Got one of these, it's a post. Basically, screw pipe into base, screw cap on the top, but I need to reap a hole through the top so that this here can go in so I got a way to hook it up. Then you slide weights on here. I'm going to go in the house and grab a weight. And that's how that works. So basically you have to remove the cap to load any new weight on it. That's a given. What um, the actual loading pins have is they have like a V brace mounted here and then you hook your carabiner off of it and then attach it to whatever grip you're going to use. That's where this thing comes into play. Now what I could do is hammer that in and we'll just weld it in place and have it permanently attached and then just unscrew it when I want to add more weight and then screw it back in, which would work. But I suck at welding. So we're going to go with plan B, rip a hole through this thing. Change of plans, that's being a dick and I don't have the right bits to rip through it. So we're just going to go ahead and weld the nut right inside the pipe. I can't get this camera to focus because it's stupid. There we go. So we're just going to weld that right into the pipe. Hope it works. I'm going to mess this up. All right, my welds look like shit, but we got it. I'm just going to file that down a bit to make it look somewhat not shit, and I'll show you the final product. And there she be, people. Just that simple. Load your plates onto it. Boom. Well, you're going to unscrew this. Takes a minute, so you'll be taking times between sets. Holy. Take your plates. Put them on. Seal it up, drop the thing, try again, seal it up, spin it all the way down, hook up your lifting implement, and go, and go, and go. That's only what? Yeah, two and a half pounds on there. I just grabbed that thing to see what it would do. Anyway, next up, you got to make some sort of a grip. So what I'm thinking is cutting a chunk, like yay, straight off of this piece of wood. I'm going to do the hand saw to do it because uh, it's going to burn more calories. And heaven knows that it's 7 o'clock at night and I have not burnt enough today. Nope. So let's uh, saw through this blurry piece of wood and go from there. And just when I thought my sanding days were over, I sanded it down too. Now it's a weird shape. It's an awkward shape. It's not perfectly square. I don't really care. Um, basically, my next step is, is I bought one of these jobbies. It's one of these screw in eye hooks. And I'm going to fire it into the base here. 
and then let's freaking lift shit. There we go. We got a pinch block. So basically, it's pretty. I smoothed it out because you want it to be as smooth as possible. The one we used at my buddy's house was metal, and they were using chalk to basically try and get some dry grip on it. Um, I'm not gonna go that route. I'm just going to basically keep lifting until I get to a weight that I can't lift. Then I'll drop it back down and wrap that until I build up the strength. And then start adding more weight to it. Now basically the way this is going to work, this is one of the carabiners that Jaws gave me. That would clip on like that. And the other end, let me just tighten this thing down. So let's get a floor shot here and I'll show you. Keep in mind, this is only two and a half pounds. Or is it two and a half kilos? Two and a half pounds. So it's not really much of a test. All right, guys. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to hook up your lifting block. And you're going to clip it onto your pin. And then what you're going to do is when you have weight on there, you lift it. And you, you basically hold it. You know what? That's actually pretty good. It's like free weight equipment, guys. I shouldn't exactly say free. Okay, so that whole pin setup with um, everything you see here minus the weight because that was one I just stole off of, uh, a dumbbell in the house and the block of wood because I had that lying around but a lot of people probably have wood lying around so this pin the base uh, the cap that I didn't need because I just welded it in place some people don't have access to a welder just use the cap maybe you got better drill bits than I do you can rip through them that reminds me Mom, Dad, if you're watching, I need drill bits for Christmas. There, I gave you an idea. And um, this hook and this hook, the grand total for everything was about 15 bucks Canadian. So that's about a dollar twenty-two American probably. So it's a lot cheaper to build your own than it is to purchase the exact same thing already built. And it works pretty good. I just definitely need to add some more weight to it. Because I want to train grip strength because when you want to get into lifting heavier weights, if you can't grip it, how are you going to rip it? You know what I mean? That's where we're getting at. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, Batman wants to know down below. And until next time, people, peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.